Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Zero Conference 23. And my name is Deborah Rue, and I am the CEO of Rue Global Impact, and so proud to also be a co-founder of Billion Strong. And today, my we are going to talk to Dr. Lamandre Pugh. And Lamandre, I love the green light behind you. Thank you. I know you did that. I'm wearing a green dress for Zero Project, and I really hope you can come next year because you will love this conference. So, Lamandre. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the program. We are very thank excited you, to have you. you. I, I'm excited to be here. And you look fabulous in green as thank you. well. I know. <laughs> and they have green masks that say Zero Project on them, too. Oh, yeah. And I got you one. Okay. so I was going to say thank you. That's right. It's, <laughs> we got to be here in person next year. But I know that this year you couldn't do it. But let's talk about what is Billion Strong? Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, uh, thank you. Thank you for having having us, and, and we're certainly um, certainly proud uh, to be doing this with Zero Project. Um, I am Dr. Lamont Pew, as as Deborah said, and I am the reason I pause is because I always like to give a description of myself. Uh, so I'm an African American man, dark skinned African American man with a bald head, full beard. I'm seated in my power wheelchair. I have a lavender shirt on. And my background is glowing green in support of Zero Project uh, with some random artwork placed around my office. And I am the, the CEO of, of Billion Strong. And Billion Strong is a global identity organization by and for people with disabilities. Honestly, our main mission is one simple thing. And that is this, that is to help the community empower ourselves through connection. Now, there are different ways that we do this. Our whole goal really is to elevate, to unite and empower the global community of people with disabilities. And this is so that we can develop a positive disability identity and really impact the change that we want to see in this world. So, Lamandre, that must have been done already. I mean, there's, what, 1.3 <laughs> to 1.7 billion people with disabilities in the world. I'm sure we have gotten together. I mean, and we have. You see leaders like Zero Project. You see the Valuable 500. There's so many cool things happening. But I believe we are the first global organization um, where people with disabilities can really, you know, find pride in their lived experiences and help society understand why we should be involved. But do, do, do you agree? Well, I'll tell you this, uh, Deborah. I, I, I agree with you in that there are organizations doing amazing work and they're very focused in what they do. And you know what we're here to do? We're here to act as a as an amplifier, as a megaphone to unite those organizations and to help share information back and forth because ultimately, for us, it is not necessarily about the work, but it is about the people. Mm -hmm. It is about the people with disabilities. And this is why we want to connect with organizations. This is why we want to amplify the work that those wonderful organizations are doing in order to help empower people with disabilities. But the truth is, when we say we're an identity organization, we simply mean this, that it's not just about how the world sees you, but it's also about how you see yourself. And our goal, our goal with that is to help us to do just that, to understand that this is a pride movement, that this is an identity movement. And we, as people with disabilities, show up in the world unapologetically as we are, who we are, and again, not ask for a seat at the table, not not, not not, say, hey, can you get up so I can have a seat at the table? No, we have a seat at the table. In fact, that figure that you gave, 1.3 to 1.7 billion people around the planet, means that guess what? We're one of the prominent legs of the table. So it's not just a seat, we're here. It's our table. I agree. And, and I remember one time I said something to you that you um, very graciously, graciously, um, helped me look at it in a different way. And what I had said to you, and I meant this really well because I'm just so impressed with you and what you bring to the table and your communication skills. And I said to you, 
and I'm a global expert on this, just saying, and I said to you, I don't even see your disability, LaMondre. I don't see your disability. And I, I just want to pass the mic to you to address that. Yeah, and, and, and believe me, I hear that all the time. And the thing that I said to my beautiful friend here is I said, you know what, I, I understand that and I appreciate the sentiment, but I need you to understand that I need you to see my disability. Why? Because it's a part of who I am. Mm -hmm. It's a part of me just like my skin is a part of me. It's a part of me just like my personality is a part of me. It's a part of me just like the things that you said were impressive to you mm. are a part of me. So is that. And it all informs my perspective. As I tell people all the time, my disability is not the defining point, but it's certainly a defining point of who I am. And to say you don't see it really is to deny me a part of my identity, a part of who I am. That would be just that would be just like me saying, Davra, you know, you're amazing. You bring so much value. You 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 are an incredible entrepreneur. You are a global leader in the disability industry. In fact, when I see you, I don't even see the fact that you're a woman. <laughs> That's right. That's because right. what that really is saying, because what they really is saying is there is no way, based on the stereotypes, based on the stigmas, based on what society, much of society has said that a woman is or a person with a disability is, you don't exhibit any of those things that we perceive as negative. So there is no way that I can identify you as that. When the truth is, again, it's a part of who I am. Right. And I love every second of it. You're, I love it. And I think it's also important to admit when we... When, when we're like th maybe thinking ad ad in a way that we could uh, change the way we think. Because I think it's so important that we have these conversations and we really dive into what these conversations mean from a global perspective. So I know that right. billion- And it's complex. And it's it complex. Is very it really complex. is complex. Right, and there's so many stakeholders and the stakeholders are not always included. So that's why we're. it's so good that you have something like Zero Project bringing us all together and you know, helping in so many ways. But how do we, uh, so it's billion-strong.org. It is a free global mm -hmm. movement. We are inviting countries from all over the world to join us. You have, you have more countries. We've gotten several more countries just since we've been here. And we're about to Our have. Friends, I knew you would. I <laughs> knew you would. Chile. Woohoo. So. Uh, Fantastic. Chile. I know we got it anyway. So, but we all have to be in this conversation. And so uh, today we have 95 countries, we have zero project, valuable 500, we are being supported by so many wonderful people. WID, it's t there's just too many. There's too many to name all of the amazing people. But what we are not doing is trying to duplicate what anyone else is doing at all. We just want right. to come together and identify with pride and make sure employers that want to find us, anybody that wants, don't, I don't want to hear the excuse that you cannot hire people with disabilities because you can't find us. Don't even want to hear that. Right. So, yeah. So, right. why was this and, so and important? And I will tell you. Yeah, I, I, was, I was just about to go right into that. One, you, you said something that, that I think is, is, is very important. One of the issues that we've had in the past, particularly organizations that work uh, within the disability uh, spectrum, is that there is a scarcity approach that seems to be rampant in what we do. And what happens is we sometimes align ourselves against each other as if we're yes. fighting for the same piece of a pie mm -hmm. when when the truth is if we were to unite if we were to come together we would be so much stronger and so much more effective in what it is that our own individual missions are so our goal is never to compete with people it is simply to amplify the efforts that people who are doing good within the community to, to, to amplify those efforts and to spread it globally. Because who knows, what's working in Australia may be amazing in Africa. Right. And what's amazing in Africa may be absolutely mind-blowing in Haiti. And what's mind-blowing in Haiti may absolutely change the trajectory of what happens in the US. In other words, there is no one that's big and there's no one that's small. If we all come together and share, if we all come together and work with a unified Front, with a unified effort, we can change the world for all of us, not just for people with disabilities, for all of us. I and agree. so that's why it's so important that we do what we do. Yes, I totally agree. And I remember when we 
first came up with this idea, um, <laughs> and then it watched it morph and change. But I knew that as your chairwoman of the board, um, I wanted China and India because there are over a billion, 500 million people in those countries. So I thought, let's get those countries. Well, of course, the U.S. was going to be in because we're in the U.S., but we were, I was told by a lot of people when I was asking about if they believe that we need a billion strong, oh, don't do it in the States. Oh, only do it in the States. Wrong. We have to do this all together, and then we have to celebrate. And I know we only have about five more minutes, Lamondre, and I want to make sure that you talk to the audience, if you don't mind, about what you need. I know that um, I'm about to do another session on what we're going to do um, and, you know, with Zero Projects and other um, leaders um, to support entrepreneurs with disabilities. Uh, but what, what, do you, what can you, what is your ask? What can we do to help move this forward? Yes, well, a a as you've heard, what our mission is, what our goal is, and I think it's really clear that our goal really is to help develop a, a, a identity organization for people with disabilities that does have the goal of uniting the global community of people with disabilities to elevate, to empower. And what we really need is, first of all, we need you to join the movement. That's billion-strong.org. It is a movement by people with disabilities for people with disabilities. And we just got our 501c3 designation from the IRS in the United States, which means that we really now have the ability to to raise funds. And I will tell you, when we look back at 2022, we made some significant accomplishments with very little income. <laughs> we made some significant impact in the world on a global stage with very little income. Mm -hmm. And the ask that we bring to you today is help us further that, mm -hmm. help us continue that. Go to our website, billion-strong, <clears throat> dot org and make a donation make a donation why because what we recognize is that money is a tool in order to deepen our impact in order to grow the networks in order to amplify what it is that you do in order to amplify the reach of people with disabilities as well so this is an empowerment movement this is a movement that is really about helping to shape the world and uh, so that's the ask. That's what we need. We need your time. We need your talent. And we need your treasure. I agree. And Lamondre, I would also say that we need everyone to come together and tell us what they're working on. Because one thing we're going to do at Billion Strong, just like other leaders, the Euro Project does this, we want to celebrate what's being done. And so Absolutely. really want to celebrate. And we need partner. We have, um, I think now you're up to about 97 country partners. We're getting more because uh, there's yeah, so we're many at amazing 94, people. 97. Wow, yeah, amazing. Zero Project is amazing, amazing. Um, 14th year. So I think that we have a lot to do, but we do it together and we really celebrate each other and we celebrate the work that is being done, not just by big organizations, but individuals in our field. So, Lamondre, thank you so much for joining us today from South Carolina in the USA, and we are so grateful for your leadership. And once again, it's www.billion-strong.org, and we need everybody. We want everybody to join us. And we're, if you don't know me and you don't know Lamondre, we are so authentic and transparent. We are part of this community and proud to be part of it. So please join us, and thank you, Zero Project, for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Lamont. Absolutely. Thank you, Zero Project. And remember, we are stronger together. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lamondre. Thank you.